Hey guys, this is Ron Moore, and this is Let's Check Out Friday the 13th. For the NES, of course. Don't think there's any other port, uh, any other version of the game for any other ports, I'm not sure, to the best of my knowledge. And Skip Rogers would love this game so far because there's a map, but then again, the map sucks because it don't really, it's kind of misleading. You go right, you go in one direction, and then the map is like, oh shoot, wait a minute, they're going the other way. So, also, uh, be sure to make a compass, too. But anyway, so Friday the 13th for the NES. Never really ever played this game. I think Swindoll had it a long time ago, but I never really sat down and played it. The only thing I really know of the game is what the Angry Video Game Nerd said of it in his review. And and I seen him and Mike do a uh, James and Mike Monday video of it a while back. And... Yeah, I love the music right here. This this track right here is real creepy. Really fits the game perfectly. And as AVGN said, there's a part in the game, you know, where it gets dark and you see the kids' faces and there's no face and you're hearing this music. That's uh, freaking creepy. And so anyway, the objective of the game is, I guess, to save the children, the camp counselors, by going around fighting Jason over and over again and fighting Jason's mother's floating Medusa head and lighting up fireplaces. I guess that's the objective. Whatever, I don't know. I actually was going to sit down a while back and beat this game in ECW mode, but kind of didn't get hooked onto it. I was more interested in doing that and not, not me on Elm Street for the NES. Which is also made by LGN, same company that made this game. So I'm going to kind of play a little bit of an LGN Defender here. They have good soundtracks in, in some of the games, or at least not me on Elm Street on Friday the 13th. Then again, I don't know if that's LJN that composed it, or if it's one of the developers that composed the music, not someone with LJN. Um, but anyway, yeah, right here, uh, I'm just going around in every barrack to see what what items I can collect right here. And all stuff, there's the Jason alarm. And Jason is at that barrack over there. That's flashing. I'll go ahead and go over there rescue one of the camp counselors or the children or all of them this track right here is all right it just loops over and over again thank you for showing up because I haven't fought Jason yet what if I die and then you get killed then you're not gonna really want to thank me all right here we go so there's Jason George and Jason huh <laughs> that's funny because George Costanza was played by Jason Alexander and I just failed, probably because of making a horrible reference, I guess. Alright, so, now I'm playing as Mark. That's the sign of things to come. I'm not going to last long. Of course, you can tell by the length of this video and how there's no part two that I'm not going to get very far in this game. Yeah, this part right here really reminds me of the Goonies 2. We got you know, this screen right here, and it's kind of hard to navigate. It's kind of confusing. And on the side, you got a panel that says change, pass, do this, do that, whatever. And, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, Friday 13th, I don't remember zombies and stuff coming after you from under the ground, but I guess they had to make the game a little bit challenging in some way and have, have you, you put some obstacles in your way. I guess I can understand that, but still. All right, wait a minute. That person's supposed to be dark. And, oh, that sounded racist. What I meant was it's nighttime, so they're supposed to be blue along with the rest of the screen and all the rest of the barrack so we can see their creepy dark faceless face and here's Jason again and once again I'm doing terrible you got duck at the right time and you got stick and move which is what I'm failing at right now all right next Paul Hopefully it's Paul Heyman so that he can bring, bring Brock Lesnar up in here to whoop Jason. <laughs> I need something more than a pathetic rock, which looks like a wad of paper, which is part of why it's not hurting Jason. I need to find a knife or a machete or something. Wow, I just totally went the wrong way. Now I'm in the woods. And let's see if I find Jason here. I'm going to try to get out of here and find Jason. Great. This is the Lost Woods, because I really am lost. Just like in the Zelda games, and, well, well, I'm not out of the woods yet. It almost looks a bit like 
Woodman stage here. Ah, that is annoying. The Jason alarm. I remember AVGN said saying he wanted to turn down the volume to not hear the Jason alarm or the music, but he has to keep it the volume up so he can hear the Jason alarm. Well, not really. If that thing's flashing up there, I think that's an indication of you know Jason uh, appearing at a barrack. So yeah, good. Okay, that one, that guy's dead. I, I'm not gonna make it on time. Sorry. Okay, so moving on now. So if you, do you ever see all the camp counselors and children? Like, what if you beat Jason and get through the game, but then there's a few that died? Is it still game over? Or? I guess not. That's I guess that's when everybody dies. But. By the way, post a comment and describe what is your favorite Friday 13th movie? Uh, me? Uh, that's a hard one. I don't know. Probably three or four. Then again, six is good. I did not like five because five, it wasn't the real Jason. It was some copycat killer and that was BS. Uh, six and seven, I think, were pretty cool. That's when he was using more weapons other than a machete. I think it was part three where he got his mask, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not an expert on the Friday 13th movies. I did love Freddy vs. Jason, though. That was a good, uh, um, uh, what do you call it? When they put the two icons together against each other, Freddy and Jason. That was a good, uh, combo right there. Movie. I'm glad New Line Cinema did that. Alright, so here we go. Now I gotta make my way to where Jason is at and. Making sure my. Wait! Wait a minute! I thought he was in that barrack. How is he right here in the barrack at the same time? That's how he always finds people. Oh, here we go now. This is the part AVGM was talking about. This is creepy. They have no face, and it's dark, and you're hearing this music. Yeah, that is creepy. Well, let me go find Jason now. He's probably magically appearing in the barrack, even though i just seen him swimming around. Yep, that's how he finds people. It's not that he's fast. He just probably clones himself somehow. Or maybe there's a bunch of copycat killers, like there was one in Part 5 of Friday 13th. And what a surprise, I'm dead again. Now let's play as Laura. I wish there's Laura Croft. So that I can actually have some weapons to use against Jason. Whoa, and she moves fast. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, I better get over there fast. Now it's starting to get dark. I like how they do the night day to night transitions here. It is much better than it is in Simon's Quest. And yes, I do love Simon's Quest, but... Yeah, at least this game did the day not transition. Good, and dang it, come on now, really? You can't be in two places at once. I mean, this less is not Mel Street, and you're Freddy Krueger, that's different, but Jason is not Freddy. Alright, back to the creepy room. Here we go. Well, we're fell again. Well, I'll die trying. Come on, Laura, you're a, you're a woman. The woman is usually the one that defeats Jason in the end, if I remember correctly. <laughs> Especially that one that had telekinetic powers, or whatever it was, in part 6 or 7. I wish I played as her right now, make Jason's freaking head explode. Ah! You know, these people would leave Jason alone, he would stay dead. You got people resurrecting him from the grave and stuff, and <laughs> that's how he comes back and terrorizes people. People leave him alone! We wouldn't have a problem with him. It's like James said in Simon's Quest, why are you collecting all Dracula's body parts and bring him back to life? He's dead, leave him alone. But that's a different story, though. He has to bring him back to life in order to end the curse. Anyway, all right here. We're down to Chrissy. Let's see if Chrissy can do something here. Dang it, this ain't Simon's Quest <laughs> again. More Another Simon's Quest reference. Stop jumping out of the water at random. And attacking me, and plus fight Jason here. Jason sh should be the only enemy you gotta deal with. And Friday 13th, and here we go. Well, Jason's mother too, and the copycat killer. See, this is taking forever. Look, it's not doing anything to him. I mean, ugh. if we knew where to find a knife and stuff, it'd be easier. And yeah, I'm. Come on. I fail. Well, forget that. Me and my friends are dead. 
Game over. All right, so that is it for Friday the Thirteenth for the NES, and and so yeah, uh, and I kind of like Nightmare on Elm Street a lot better. Game does have a good soundtrack, especially the creepy music, um, and so yeah, I, I've seen uh, James and Mike play this about forty something minute video. They going around and they had to mark the TV screen to remember which I guess which uh, places they uh, kill Jason at or, or where they light, lit the fireplaces and I don't know the game's kind of kind of like a weird objective like I don't remember that in the movies I'm not an expert on Friday the 13th but like I mean I remember Jason's mother getting killed and you gotta and she comes and kills people I mean Jason gets killed first of course and then she gets vengeance by killing the camp counselors responsible for bullying him and causing him to drown or whatever but. I don't know. The objective of this game is weird. Now, I'm not liking it and it does not get me hooked onto it. So, I mean, with that said, my first impression of it might have to give it a 4 or 4.5 out of 10. And that's probably being nice. Definitely not the worst game out there. But, yeah, it has a lot of problems and doesn't really get me hooked. I might go back and play it. Not on YouTube, but uh, go back and play it. Um with Game Genie and ECW mode and see how tough Jason is when I'm in ECW mode. So with that said, I am out of here. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Ron Moore. God bless and take care.